this is an elderly gentleman who had undergone uh, a trabeclectomy, a combined procedure, many, many, many years ago. And he came back uh, with a cystic bleb, bleb like this. And the pressure was only hardly recordable. It was somewhere at zero. And on the Seidel's test, we found that his bleb was actively leaking. And uh, luckily, he did not have any other complications of hypertony, such as macular edema or choroidal detachment. And we decided to immediately repair this cystic bleb, cystic uh, chronically leaking bleb. So initially, we have planned to excise this bleb and uh, put a scleral patch graft over the same. And here's how I went about the surgery. After placing a corneal stay suture with 6O vicryl, I am just excising just around that almost necrotic blip. These patients are very, very difficult to handle. Just excising the entire bleb. some fibrotic tissue. There is something like a knuckle that is seen there. So, probably where it is leaking from or elsewhere. But it is better that you do not handle that area. Just leave it alone. You do not want vitreous or something like that untoward presenting itself in such a situation. Just making sure I get rid of all that necrotic tissue. The scleral patch will have to be clearing up all the fibrous strands in and around that blip and taking care not to interfere with that knuckle like glass blob that you see. And here just making a lamellar dissection of a scleral rim. You can either take the anterior or the posterior, whatever suits. You don't have to make it, you know, aesthetically beautiful. It just has to cover that area. And I am taking both the anterior and whichever and the posterior uh, flaps and whichever I feel is better, I will use that. It's very, very difficult. It looks like a simple job, very difficult to cut free hand like this. And as you can see from the shape, it doesn't matter. And I am using non-absorbable sutures to secure this scleral flap onto that leaking trap. So I have put two base sutures. And I put a mattress suture behind hoping that from these sides, that is between the matter suture and the base suture, the bleb will continue to function. Just closing up the conjunctiva with the same non-absorbable sutures. I will remove them later. Since you have excised the conjunctiva, I am putting on or attempting Yes, I'm just burying the knots inside, but the suture will come up anyway.
this is important the conjunctive has to be extremely secure burying placing the sutures so that the knot is buried but you don't have to do that since h0 is quite an irritating suture i decided to do that uh placing tensile sutures here will be i don't think it has enough tensile strength to withstand and it would break so just trimming off that excess bit of scleral tissue and i go ahead and put a mattress suture on to the peripheral cornea across to the conjunctiva and pull the conjunctiva down over the scleral patch graft this here i am using on the tenon suture that is pretty secure and this actually worked very well till about a couple of weeks later it worked too well and the pressure actually went up into the 40s and uh, that became a problem again and this is just the closing thing of the first part of the surgery putting in a bubble and i said and as i said earlier this actually worked too well and a uh, couple of weeks later the pressure just went shot up two two three weeks later the uh the pressure just shot up so i had to go in again after 2 weeks and you can see me going somewhere near the fornix just opening up a wee bit and if you remember the mattress suture that i placed behind i cut that and pulled out that suture so that i probably shouldn't have put the suture in the first place but it was important since the pressure was zero at that time and this defect i closed with a cross stitch with a absorbable vicral suture and touch wood everything worked well he has been uh, now more than 6 um, more than 8 months follow up and the pressure is uh, around 10 he is doing well comfortable just to show how much it takes to deal with complicated blends thank you for watching